what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel as you guys can tell by that on feet intro today we have a air jordan one that dropped a few months back you know 2023 but hey who's counting the time regardless of the fact i want to bring this sneaker to you guys because i think it's extremely dope and i know air jordan ones are not hitting right now it ain't what y'all feeling but this Air Jordan one Zoom Comfort, a little bit different, and this one is super. And this one is super unique, just super dope sneaker. Quality is good, and hey, the resale right now has dropped drastically on this thing. So hey, if y'all, so if you're feeling this sneaker, by all means, after this review, make a decision, make a choice. We're gonna talk about size, we're gonna talk about all that good stuff, and then go ahead and cop it, man. But before we get off into this content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for your boy. Um, and I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hit that like button, share the videos, comment below. Be very interactive with your boy, and I would greatly appreciate that. Now, today we have the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort Tiana Taylor. A rose from Harlem, man. Shout out to all my people up in Harlem, boogie down. You feel what I'm saying? But this shoe has a lot of details on it. We're going to get up into each and every one of them. Like I said, we're going to talk about size and everything. But let's go ahead and start with the box before we talk about the actual shoe. We do have a lot of detail on the box itself. As you guys can see here, we have the Nike swoosh. It's gold and it has like the stem of a rose. It has roses all the way around the box. And on the side of the box, it says from the concrete. And then it says grew a rose. You feel what I'm saying? On the bottom of the box, same thing as we open up this box. Oh, we do have that Jordan logo right there on the box. And then as we open up the box, we have rose embossed paper. And um, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for the inside. Let me show you guys this. This is in the inside of the box and it talks about the difference between the Zoom Comfort and just your standard Jordan 1. And the amount of attention that Nike and Jordan brand put into putting a little bit of more emphasis on comfort in this sneaker is well worth it. It is less Lower price, I think they average like 160 for the Zoom Comforts. Jordans themselves, the OG Jordan ones, and they're not as comfortable. They have as much padding in them. The support ain't as much as it is on the Zoom Comforts. They're 190. So, hey, to each its own. But like I said, man, just tells you everything right there in the box. So they did, just like the shoe, they decided to put a lot of emphasis on the box. And then you got the tape for Taylor right there. You know what I'm saying? She go buy that as well. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and put this box back right oh let me show you guys this right here we have the size women's uh, 12 and a half which is a man uh 11 air drum one zoom comfort so this was a ladies exclusive with extended sizing so let's go ahead and look at the shoe bam man like you seen on the on feet these things look good on feet but we have the standard zoom comfort silhouette um this one is going to be your left shoe we're going to start with that one and you have the black Nike swoosh with a lot of uh, designs right here on the sneaker, like the um, offset stitching. You have the Air Jordan Wings logo right there on there. And then right here on the tongue, man, it's to each his own. You can leave this on, you cannot leave it on. But you have this little rose, the TL. This is like solid. Man, this is legit. This is heavy. The toe box, you have little X's to go around there. The leather is, is not, it's not the best leather, man, but it's not too, too bad. Um, you have the yellow laces, you have the tay right there on the tongue, as you guys can see right there. And then on this one, you have the Nike swoosh with the stem leaves around it, you know what I'm saying? As far as laces go, they do give you more laces for this one. So you have the Nike tag right here, like this shows all the comfort levels and they are really, really pushing the comfort in the technologies in these sneakers. But you do have a couple of set of laces with these. You have your black ones and you have your red laces as well. So that's huge. I like the fact that they did decide to give us that. Um, on the inner side of the shoe, we have the exact same thing. The bottom of the shoe, you have the Zoom Comfort right there. You can see it right there. The, the um, Formula 23, all that technology and stuff that's in there. On the booty of the sneaker, you have a little bit of brown on that booty. So you this know is saying? still attached to the sneaker. I don't have it take, taken off, but I'm going to try to show you guys. As you guys can see, it's some writing in there. And it says, from Harlem. And I think the other one, the right one, says the rest of it. So it says a rose. So together, you know, a rose from Harlem. So this is going to be the left shoe. Put this to the side. 
show you guys the right sneaker right here um you have, as you guys can see right here the nike swooshes are different on the sneakers you have your black one and then you have your red one that looks like a, a stem or like a rose or whatever yellow laces also standing on them same on the toe box like i said on the tongue you do have that um nike logo with the stem same thing right there on the inner side of the shoe back end of that booty is brown and then the bottom is yellow and red also man but yeah th these are the tiana taylor air zoom comfort twos y'all let me know down in the comment section what are your thoughts on the pen like i said they do look good on feet they fit true to size so if you are a, a size 11 in Jordans, you want to get a size 11 in these. Um, even though you can always go a half a size up if you want a little bit more room because there is more padding in the Zoom Comfort 2s. So maybe I would recommend just maybe a half size up or just stick to your standard size because they're going to give you a good snug fit. So that would be my say on the sizing. As you can see on the screen, this is the current resale value for them, which is not bad at all. Um, these shoes are definitely one to add to the collection if you like something you need something different and um, Yeah, I just you know glad I was able to hit for these for retail, but y'all let me know down in the comment section I appreciate you guys hit that like button subscribe button y'all already know what I'm saying these shoes They just bait away for me to share my faith. I'm gonna catch y'all next video. I'm gone